once you have accounts set up you may need to go in and change them so I have 49 users on this system and if I go in and click on the number of users here it'll give me a list of the users that I have now on this page I can see a number of things uh, the name of the person their username email quota as in how much of their mailbox they've used and as there's seven gigabytes that's going to take quite a while to fill up and the last time that they signed in now I'm going to scroll down here and I'm going to pick on a particular name so the one I'm going to use is John Palmer so I'll click on John Palmer and I'll see the settings for John and in here I can do a number of things again I can change the name if I made a spelling mistake when I set the account up originally I can suspend a user if there's some issue about how they're using their email account I can delete a user if they're no longer in the school I can change their password and sometimes it's useful just to set a, a simple password here and then ask them to change the password the first time they log on if you need to have a second administrator on the network or on the e email system then you can do that from in here you can add a nickname nickname is sometimes known as an alias so if somebody had a, a role within the school say the transition year coordinator then you can give them ty coordinator at your school domain and in here as well I can see that this person is a teacher and isn't a member of the teachers mailing list and I save those changes any changes made will be updated immediately